You know it's a good day when you've got a stiff Paloma and you're about to eat tacos. You better keep watching. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, we have a tahini mustache. That's good. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Katie. And welcome to Pizza with Plants. So it's Friday night and we're doing something a little different. You keep talking, I'm gonna keep drinking. <laughs> We are just back from Mexico and there was a surprising, probably not surprising, number of plant-based options. Uh, so we're bringing one of those options home with, you can tell us about your famous cilantro rice. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's famous. It might be but, after this. Well, I don't know, we'll it's see. It's pretty good, it's very fresh. So I'm gonna put the link to this Paloma recipe down below because if you haven't had a Paloma before, it's awesome. So we're just, we're making shredded uh, oyster mushroom tacos. So super simple, um, we're gonna just saute those in a, in a taco seasoning. Everything will be down below for you. We're gonna top it with some uh, pickled shallots and jalapenos that we made. We're making homemade corn tortillas and then the tacos will be finished off with our smoky roasted chipotle salsa. Uh, and then we're gonna have a lime cilantro rice as a side dish. So I, I think it's gonna be tasty. It'll be yummy. Yeah, I'm gonna power down this drink. We'll be back. Let's cook. First, we're gonna slice up our jalapenos and shallots that we're gonna pickle as a topping for our tacos. Next, we're gonna get a 50-50 blend of water and vinegar, along with a big dose of salt, just about up to a boil. After that, take it off the heat and you'll wanna pour that over your shallots and jalapenos and let them cool to room temp. Next, we're gonna get our oyster mushrooms shredded up for the tacos. If you haven't had your oyster mushrooms this way, you have to try it. They are so tasty. Next, I'm just gonna rinse our rice with a little bit of cold water to try to get some of the excess starch off, and then I'm just gonna let it drain. Next, we're gonna get started on our homemade corn tortillas. I like mixing the masa flour and the water to start off with a spatula, just to keep my hands a little cleaner. And once that's incorporated, I'm gonna mix it up with my hand, kinda knead it for a little bit, and then I'm just gonna go right into making the little tortilla balls, probably about the size of a golf ball, and then I'm just gonna set them aside to kinda rest until we're ready to cook them. Let's make our cilantro lime rice. I'm gonna start off by getting my chopped red onion and jalapeno into a pan with a little bit of olive oil and cook those till they're translucent. And once they are, then I'm gonna add in the rice, stir that to combine. Then I'm gonna add in my water, a little bit of chopped garlic, a little bit of olive oil, bring that up to a boil and then cover it at a low temp. The rice looks great, so we're gonna get that off the heat and into a bowl and add our lime juice and cilantro and stir it all up to combine. Let's make our oyster mushrooms. First, I'm gonna get my pan heated up over a medium high heat, add a little bit of olive oil and then get those beautiful oyster mushrooms in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and then cover them so they kind of sweat out a little bit and soften up. Once they're nice and soft, I'm gonna add in my taco seasoning and the veggie broth and stir all that all up and cook that over a medium high heat. And in probably about five to seven minutes, it's going to reduce down and be ready for the tacos. Finally, we're ready to make our corn tortillas. I'm just gonna get my pan up to a medium high heat. I'm gonna take our tortilla balls, put them into the press, press them out, and then cook those tortillas about two to three minutes on each side, and we are gonna be having tacos. I like your little rice balls. Thank you, I only have a small scooper. Those are pretty cute. <laughs> I need a bigger scooper. You do. For cookies too. I was gonna get one today, I forgot. Okay, well you did. Anyway. We have tacos. Mm -hmm. They look super yummy. They smell very spicy. Yes. Or I yes. might be just smelling the sh shallot. Pickled shallot and jalapenos. I was gonna call it shallot. Shallot. It's be fancy. Well, but... those are fancy shallots. Right, it was a stiff so. Paloma. Let's just say that. Yes, that Paloma was good. It was okay. very good. Okay. Uh, enough yap yap. Let's try this. This mm. looks really yummy. Our homemade tortillas. Mm. 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 
Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. That, hold on, now rice. Mm. <clears throat> all, of those good. all of those flavors are super great, super yummy. Hey, I said super again. Oh God. <laughs> You so did. I did. I really did. But this is super good. It, it really is. Now you said it. Yeah. The I know. admittedly, our rice, the, the flavor is awesome. Perfect. We, it's a little bit sticky like sushi rice. So we admit when we don't make things right, but. It was long grain rice, so we'll yeah, we'll play with it. We'll that. fiddle with it. So, but, but this was really, really yummy. It's about the flavor. Yeah. If you haven't had oyster mushrooms, Go they up. taste like they are like chicken thighs. Yeah. Like that juicy, chewy. Meaty. I mean, if you miss that, if you're into that, but they, they totally like yeah. we do fried fried chicken with them, and only like on Super Bowl, like that's a special thing. Uh, but they're so good. Yeah, this they're is just juicy really... and yep. they're yummy. So. Agreed. Good job. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It wasn't pizza, but this was totally vegan. And plant based and oh that's the same thing and gluten free yes gluten free yeah and really good so yep nicely done thank you be kind eat pizza with plants and tacos <laughs> see ya i'm gonna have another bite i'm sure you are mm -hmm.